are they going to have to be able to sit in front of our, and stand in front of our, of our children? Those questions and more surrounding a Lubbock Charter School tonight after a national news story shines new light on those school's founders. Good evening, I'm Brian Mutt. And I'm Julie Musgrave. The Harmony Science Academy is in the middle of some controversy after being featured Sunday night on CBS's 60 Minutes. And the charter school has a campus here in Lubbock. And the report singled out the school's leaders for what some call an attempt to get around immigration laws by specifically bringing teachers from Turkey to take jobs here in the U.S. KMAX Nick Oster live in the newsroom now with me. Yeah, Brian, Julie, Harmony Public Schools are no stranger to controversy. In the past, they've been accused of spreading Muslim beliefs. They've even been accused of being connected to terrorism. Last night, 60 Minutes report struck those rumors down, but it asked a new question that's hitting pretty close to home. You have groups bringing in people from the outside. I mean, we've got great qualified teachers already uh, within our districts, uh, within our state and Denver. Definitely within our country. Noel Candelaria is the vice president of the Texas State Teachers Association. He sat down with KMAC to voice his concerns with the Harmony Public Schools and, more specifically, the hundreds of teachers they've brought in from Turkey. Are they selected? What kind of preparation are they going to have to be able to sit in front of and stand in front of our, of our children? Harmony Public Schools operate nearly 40 campuses across Texas, including the Harmony Science Academy right here in Lubbock. The schools are backed by a group tied to a Muslim cleric named Fatola Gulan from Turkey. And in a 60 Minutes report Sunday night, critics claim the schools are being used as a front to bring in Turkish immigrants on work visas. You know, we're not taking U.S. jobs. In fact, we're, we're just filling jobs in an area where there's a very well-documented shortage, and that's in the areas of math and science. Julie Schussler is a spokesman for Harmony Schools. She dismissed the criticism in a phone interview Monday afternoon. Teachers coming over to teach in these subjects uh, are, are highly qualified to do so. But Candelaria with the Teachers Association says the claims of a teacher shortage are just not true. If you were to gauge any district right now, you look at the number of applicants for the number of positions, there's far definitely more applicants than there are positions available. Now, that spokesman for Harmony Public Schools tells KMAC tonight that there are six teachers currently working in the Lubbock campus from Turkey working here on visas. She says that's less than a quarter of the total faculty here in Lubbock. Tonight, we're live in the newsroom. Nick Oxford, KMAC 28 News.